Hansel came to London and wants to move in with me. But I've set clear boundaries. I got you flowers. Best friends call Mr. Airbrush. Always helps me look my best. I got cake for you. Good drink for you. I got monkey for you. Monkey. I need a toilet. My selfie looks nothing like Thank you. Should worry about what people think. Should worry about how much I drink. Should worry about the way I dress. Should worry about my indecisiveness. Should worry about what's in my head. Should worry about who's in my bed. Should worry about what people say. Oh, it doesn't even matter. I'm probably gonna worry anyway. Should I worry about it? I don't know. So this is how it works, guys. Everyone gets 10 minutes. We've got Liesl, Carl, Mark. Hold on. What are you doing here? You asked me last week if I wanted to do the show. No, 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 that doesn't work. But I'm booked. <laughs> nah, we already have a woman tonight. How the hell? All right, so, um, Mark and James, we've got your seven people in the waiting room. Liesl, did you bring someone? What? Did you bring someone in the waiting room? Is that one of your friends? No, no I'm in isolation. Bloody hell, I kicked out the wrong woman. Look, you need to bring at least one audience member. This is a bringer show, so if you don't bring a guest, you won't perform here anymore. Understood? Yes. Oh, good. So... Ladies and gentlemen, please put your virtual hands together for Liesl Flick. Uh, Frick, yes. Um, hello, hello, I'm very happy to be here tonight. I am originally from Austria, but I live in London. I also self-isolate here. And I really like it. I love this city. Maybe the only thing uh, compared to Austria, London, I think is really dirty. Before I moved to London, I was actually blonde. Okay, everyone, she didn't bring anyone, but we kept her in anyway. There was a man in our kitchen. Oh, yeah, that was Tom. John. Whatever. We are not supposed to do that. We have to isolate. You have to isolate in your room, and I have to isolate in my room, and Tom John has to isolate in his house. Well, him and I will self-isolate together for the next two weeks. <laughs> And then I found this in the bathroom. What is that? I wrapped it up securely now, but this is a condom. Liesl, don't judge me. I'm going through a heartbreak, and I read that you need to distract yourself after you break up with someone. You don't understand. I give up everything for David. If I was in LA, I'd be a famous actress by now. Uh, the toilet paper is finished. Cancel. Wait, is that Hansel? Yes, he moved into the utility room yesterday. <laughs> well, then you can't complain about Tom then. John. <laughs> Whatever. Your problem is that you can't say no. You need to stand up for yourself. Don't let people tell you what to do. Say no. Okay? Yes. No! Yes, I, I meant no. Yes. No! 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 Yes! Give your feelings a sound. No. Yes! Okay. Um. Any sound? No. Your sound. Uh, 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 I hear your feelings are suppressed. Can you hear that too? Yes. No! No! Yes! I don't know! So, your first date with Christine didn't work out? No. She saw Hansel and left. Yes. She is a radical feminist and can't handle men around her. Well, never mind.
she's a bit of a cheater anyway. So maybe that's for the best. Let me have a look. Oh, I think I have someone else for you. An Asian girl. Your profiles match 87%. My profiles? I do a little bit of matchmaking on the side. But for clients, it's for no extra costs. Uh, no, no, I think, I think I can't do that. I, I thought everything would be easier in London, but now that Hans is here, I'm really struggling. He doesn't know that I'm a lesbian. I think maybe I should just focus on getting friends instead of a relationship, because that would be really good for my comedy as well. And Sorry, we are at the end of the session. £75, please. Don't it's a bit cheaper today, because you brought Christine back to me. I give you 10% off. So that'll be £70. I'll ping you my PayPal. Lisa! Are you okay? I found your phone in the kitchen, but I haven't heard from you all day. I don't have friends. <laughs> you have me. But I need friends as an audience for my comedy show, otherwise I can't perform again anymore. Well, you don't need friends, you need dates! Dr. Rosalyn has another date for me. <sighs> there are other options than her crazy patients. <laughs> like, sane ones. Here, let me show you. Oh, oh, what's your pin? Oh, one, 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 one. That was easy. What are you doing? Well, this way you could always bring a date to every show and you'll never have to perform alone again. I don't want a relationship. That's what dating's for. I date like four people at a time. I mean, it's great. No, I can't. I don't. I... Well, if... Well, if it is just for the shows... What time's your gig tomorrow night? Eight o'clock. And how tall are you? 169 centimeters. <gasps> Here we go. You have your first Zoom date tomorrow night at seven. Just like treat it like a business meeting. Business meeting, business meeting, business meeting. Hello. Hello. So where do you isolate? Um, in London. I just recently moved here. And what brought you here? I'm a comedian. Oh, so if we weren't all isolated, I'd probably bump into you in a comedy club. Actually, I have a comedy show tonight, if you want to come. Tonight? <laughs> How's that possible? Isn't it a bit risky going to comedy clubs in days like these? No, no, it's all uh, online. It's in the internet. <coughs> <coughs> what was that? Did you just cough? Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Lisa? Uh, yes? Maria! Hello, gorgeous. Oh, um, you are... You swiped me. No, no! I was the woman behind. Oh, my God. You thought it was the woman in front. That's my granddaughter. Oh, my God. Did you think I was she? She's 14. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't think. No, no. I didn't.
Ms. Alfrey, hi. Um, I got your details from Dr. Rosalind. I, I'm one of her clients as well. Oh, uh, hello. You want a date? Uh, yes. Have you been with a woman before? No. Have you been with a man before? Well, um, yes. No, 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 no details, please. Would you describe yourself as a lesbian? What exactly do you mean by that? How much of a lesbian are you? I mean, are you bi or queer or pansexual, allosexual or, or just quite curious? I might have to get back to you with that question. You are a woman or are you trans or non-binary? I am a woman. Okay, I don't do bi, so if you're happy to be a full lesbian, I'm happy to give this a try. A try? Yes. We are officially in a relationship now. Okay. Um, do you want to come to my comedy show tonight? No. 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 What is pansexual? It's an attraction towards people regardless of your sex or gender identity. What is gender identity? It's your own sense of gender. Are you trans? <gasps> what is trans? Girl, you have got so much to learn. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Kelly. Uh, hey. I get a new one. Are you sad? Yeah, she's sad because she needs friends for her comedy. Wait. Yeah, why don't you get yourself a manager who will get you proper gigs and organize an audience for you? Maybe I'm just not made for this job or this life or London. The mountains are made for goats, like goats are made for mountains. Coming to London and being a comedian was your biggest dream ever since we were little children. You're made for this and I will help you living your dream. I will be your manager. Should I worry about what's in my head? Should I worry about who's in my bed? Should I worry about what people say? Oh, it doesn't even matter, I'm probably gonna worry anyway. Should I worry about it? I don't know.